Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Welcome to 05 June Non Farm, Canada and the US. In this Alice and Wonderland market. Very, very tricky to trade. A um, couple of hiccups this week. Really, the only good juice came from Long Darien on Tuesday. Um, yesterday, we tried to be short Kiwi Yen. We tried to be short. We tried to be Long Dollar Czar. Uh, none of these worked. Uh, at the end of the day, we were short stocks as um, NASDAQ bearish engulfed. Shot ourselves in the face uh, at the end of that. Uh, Glorious five minute. Let's check a look at this NASDAQ. Uh, no, NQ, sorry. Cables on the frontal lobe here, so we may cut this short. Uh, this did bearish engulf from the highs, uh, but now it's hard to trade, right? You got to leave the stop above 97.44. Uh, it's 100 basically a 100 point stop uh, we thought S&P's were going to follow but they didn't right closed at 10 after trading down to 85 and now have made a new high here um, so that's uh, it's a pretty good fuck you that is what it is um, so we're just leaving this shit alone for now and we're going to focus on couple other things mainly we're going to focus on cable um, where is she so we have these two highs here 126 43 126 47 yesterday's high was 33 uh, we don't really have much for, for numbers out in cable, but I can tell you this, um, the 200 day is also ringing the bell today, 126.64. Now, of course, none of this makes any sense with the Brexit uh, negotiations in hand. You know that's not going to work out too well. You know that's going to be a fuck up. Um, so we just have to use price as our guide, right? Um, you kind of expect some people short up here on the 126 handle. We saw people short yesterday. Um, very good failure. 126.15. Lots of hardcore selling brings it down to 125, the figure. Uh, but then here we are. Sort of Alice in Wonderland again. Uh, for those of you who are Jefferson Airplane fans, we're talking about the White Rabbit, right? Um, 126.33 should lead this off. Up through there, looks like there's probably going to be some force buying and there's some money to be made uh, from the long side. So this is on the frontal lobe here, uh, dollar cat also. We saw very, very clever buying um, at 90 and then at 80. Little secret squirrel algorithm type buying iceberg bullshit in, uh, in the liquidity providers. That held it. Um, but now we've dojied at the lows here. This indecision is either going to lead to a change in trend if we get above say 135.40 or a continuation of the trend uh, which is the uncomfortable side of this uh, if we get below 134.67 the 200 day in, in dollar CAD um, just happens to be at 60 as well so again if you're thinking White Rabbit, which is the theme of our day today, uh, K 
careful. Dollar CAD downside. Uh, we are not short dollar CAD. We won't be trading this in Europe. We like to trade dollar CAD when the hockey players are in. And uh, maybe, maybe the employment numbers will drive this. Who knows? Um, but something to keep in mind. Let's take a look at Euro Yen. Pretty insane, this chart. Um, we were looking for capitulation yesterday at the fix. We had to move up to up to uh, 80. The fix was up to 75, and then we had a further move after the fix up to 98. Um, 1,000 points from the low less than a month ago will be 124.50. For lack of any better ideas on what the hell to do with Euro Yen, um, we'll be watching how things react at the 1,000 point mark. It's not often um, you see 1,000 points in basically 20 days. Uh, in FX in G7 but here you go how you like them apples white rabbit baby white fucking rabbit euro uh, looks kind of the same everyone's counting the green bars I am as well uh, let's look back to the February move where we were all counting the green bars as well there was only one red bar in there so we went from 107 to uh, 115 one red bar the whole time we had some gaps at the end and that was the hysteria no hysteria yet it's been pretty steady we had a good story yesterday even though Christine sounded like a robot she didn't she didn't shit the bed or anything um, she's just a rookie still so jury's still out um, before you jump down her throat and throw her under the bus Put yourself in her shoes. Uh, you know, ECB press conference is no, it's no easy feat. Getting out in front of the media, getting pillared by Twitter and social media, uh, doesn't help when you're like the first woman kind of ever to to be in this role. Uh, certainly in the European on the European side, obviously Janet um, kind of led the way, U.S. style. Um, so she was a little bit static yesterday, but like I said, she didn't shit the bed. Uh, she just looked like a rookie and looked a bit unsteady. So we'll see how that goes. But the story was decent, you know, she didn't blow anything up. Euro, I guess, did accordingly what it's supposed to do. I don't, I don't know. I mean, uh, I guess all of us think this is over overextended, which is why it keeps going higher. Uh, and as soon as all of us... Um, don't think this is overextended it may turn uh, but for now we're not touching it um, our focus is on cable today but that's where she is dollars are uh, gave up on this looked pretty good there at the open when we traded up to 1705 you're up a percent um, czar is now very very overvalued um, but the real hardcore support is a long ways away. And if you if this goes Alice in Wonderland, which it very well might, like everything else, uh, this could go further. We're uncomfortable with that side of the trade. Uh, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen, um, but we're square dollar czar now. We talked about the dollar max turn yesterday. Um, I don't know what to do with it. You know, you got to leave a long, you got to leave a stop long ways away. Where's Dollar Max? Slut. Um, you see, this is your turn bar 2150. Then you have yesterday's low, which is 70. So you don't really want to get below 70. Um, I don't know. I've lost confidence in the idea mainly because of what euro dollar has done and, and what equities have done and, and oil's back higher uh, so be careful dollar max let's go to gold uh, quickly gold should have trouble going up in these in these conditions why because u.s rates are higher um, 10 year yields above 80 basis points uh, 
I'll give you the charts in a second. Uh, but gold should have trouble going higher here. We're square gold. We sold a little bit of it yesterday in the 15 area as 10s went through 80 basis points. Um, just dicking around, really. Are we finally going to do a little bit of a clear out below 90 and below 85? Um, if you believe in the white rabbit, uh, that's probably going to happen. Why is that happening? Bonds. Bang. Tough to be short these with conviction with QE going on, but fundamentally, these things are fucking worthless. Uh, who the fuck would own 10-year paper at 80 basis points? Uh, I don't care if the United States of America is a creditor. No fucking way. Um, but logic is not really uh, our guide here. Although price is telling us uh, this shit is worthless at these prices. Uh, 137.16 is the next sort of stop uh, along this little jaunt lower and as long as this shit goes lower gold's going to have a hard time and dollar yen should remain bid um, it's probably one of the worst trades uh, I've done maybe in years uh, is dollar yen we waited patiently for months to get long that shit uh, we did get long but then we just scrambled out of it way too early um Dollar yen can easily go way the heck higher, uh, just from a price perspective, uh, especially if U.S. bonds start smoking, smoking the glass pipe. Anyway, I've said a lot. There's not a lot to do here in the morning. Um, watching cable, 126.40, 126.50 could uh, be an interesting point and then we wait for um, we'll wait for the news bombs at 2.30 Swiss time good luck out there people talk to you uh, Monday ciao